Panther Points is brought to you by these sponsors. Cornerstone Insurance. Insurance made simple may sound daunting, but at Cornerstone Agency, it's the way they do business. Specializing in agricultural policies from land and equipment to the crops you grow. They will come to your farm and see firsthand how they can help. Contact the Cornerstone Agency and Mickley Insurance in Morrison or Sandrock Insurance in Tampico and see what Insurance Made Simple is all about. The Cornerstone Agency knows how to keep your family and farm protected and your insurance simple. Find them online for more information. Rock River Lumber and Grain proudly supports the EP Panthers just like the support they have provided to area farmers for the past 87 years. With nine grain elevators and two state-of-the-art agronomy facilities, they pride themselves on customer service and attention to detail to add value to their customers. Hammer Construction in Erie. Erie High School. Melton Seed and Service. Erie State Bank. Berkey's Farm Store in Prophetstown. Erie Foods International. Wickert Insurance and the EP Panther Athletic Boosters. All right, we're well, welcome to uh, Wayne Hine Field for Senior Night. Erie Provostown Panthers against the Fulton Steamers. This is Scott Hammer with Scott Miner. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, you uh, you passed the test and now you get to do it again. <laughs> down this year to start the season, but they've come back well. They got the first down there, so first and ten, with Panther territory. Pitch out to 34, Pessman. He goes up the left side. He's got a lot of green grass. He gets drugged down. About the one or two yard line. Going to be just short of a touchdown. I could hand off to Rash up the middle. And he's in for the score. 9.53 left here in the first. Steamers on the board. Yeah. It's not the start we wanted. No. Gonna bring up first and ten on the Panther 15 yard line. One minute to go in the quarter. pestman has got Rash and kicks pitches back out to Pestman around the right side on a toss sweep. Got one man to beat to the pylon. This would be an interesting call because he knocked the pylon down. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And they're gonna say they're a touchdown. Well, so the side <laughs> judge on this side had no clue what no, was going on. He, was he about did the six or seven yard line and couldn't get down there to see where the ball was. <clears throat> I get to bring up second and 10 for the Panthers. They're on 25 yard line with 41 seconds to go in the quarter. Looks like they might be playing into their hand here, throwing the ball on second down. Jacob's gonna get flushed out of the pocket. He's running to the right, he's got plenty for a first down. Puts his shoulder down. Number four, Jacob's up to about the 40 yard line. Nice run by yeah. Jacob Ryan. Almost looked like it was designed. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Be a nice third down conversion here. Looks like, get it. Yeah, it looks a little handoff to Carson Wiebengay. A little, oh. oh, the he, ball's out. Did he, are they going to call him down or not? Nope, they are going to call the fumble. Boy, he, Carson did a good job. He got spun around and got hit hard by Nick McQuistian. McQuistian actually looked like he took the run of it and fell backwards, but the ball came out. And they are going to decide it was. Boy, I thought his forward progress had stopped. Yeah. All right, second and short. Lemke under center with Rash and Pessman in the backfield. Hand off to Rash on the left side. Yep, nice hole there opened up on the left side by Dylan Bridgman and Eli Pinnell and Will Connor. And he was able to put his head down and go the last two yards for the touchdown. First and 10 for the Steamers. Panthers showing blitz. Lemke rolls out. Gonna go to the right side all by himself. Down the sideline, cuts back to the outside. He's across the 10, and one guy to beat, and he does into the end zone. I don't see any flags on the field. That's a 46 yard scamper there. He showed tremendous speed. I did not know Lemke was that fast. Six foot, 160 pound senior. Or maybe Lemke will keep it and run again. Drops back to pass. He is gonna fire. Over there. Oh, it's going to be picked off by Carson Wiebegay down the left sideline. Carson could dig this one to the house. Gotta get just past Lemke. He cuts it back across midfield. Uh -oh. Yep. Needed one block there. Good. 
That was a nice play by Carson. That was a hard pass. A little yeah. bit high on the throw. Yeah. The fingertips of the receiver and in full stride, Carson picked that ball off and yeah. was to the, to the races. Panther Points is brought to you by these sponsors. Cornerstone Insurance Agency, Rock River Lumber and Grain, Hammer Construction, Erie High School, Erie State Bank, Melton Seed and Service, Berkey's Farm Store, Erie Foods International, Wicker Insurance, and the Panther Athletic Boosters. That's maybe 71 Blake. That's who it is. That's 71 Blake Winsfield. All right, hand off to Ethan Rash from about the 10. He cuts back in for the touchdown. Nice little lead block there. Basically walked into the end zone on touch at that point. Yep. Well, not a great start no. for the second half. First down, first and 10 on the 24 yard line of the Panthers. Hand off to Pessman again. He's got to cut it back outside, still on his feet, in for the score. 24 yard uh, scamper by Pessman. Just, uh, you know, looked like we had him contained. He did. He pounced it outside. And yeah, he, run, he runs hard. He does. Quite agile for a bigger kid. I don't know. Third and three, Jacob Bryan rolls out under a lot of pressure. Gets the pass off. Great catch by Clayton Johnson. That was a heck of a pitch and catch there. I did not think there was a prayer that that was going to get, get caught, but it did. I think that was a new master. Well, he throw it up. Clayton's about as big as they come. He's handing off to Garrison up the middle. He's got first down and more, driving the pile down. About a 15-yard gain there for Garrison. Jacob's going to go under center this time. Central on purpose in motion. Hands off to Garrison. He is hit immediately by Anthony Miller, but bounces right off of that and ends up going in for the score. I know. Anthony Miller, number seven, it's 6'3", 180 pounds, and he, uh, he'll remember that hit. There's a snap, good hold by Jacob, and the kick is up, and good, right down the middle. Textbook. PAT, yeah. Does that make the score then? 40 to seven with. 7.38 left here in the season. So Jacob's able to finish again. Get the hand off to Garrison up the middle. Running over a few guys, running through them. 75. Uh, Spencer Moore grabbed him and spun him around. Wasn't able to stop him, but Jacob under center. Hand off to Purvis. Garrison gets him a lead block. Another kick out by Willie Cochran, and he's got another first down. Inside the 25, down to about the 22. Time goes pretty quick when you're not going, when you're going in the huddle. Hand off to Garrison up the middle, makes a cutback. Got yeah, good room to run right up the middle. Brought down by Ethan Long and Jake Pennell. Nice run. Picks up the first down. Bought out the 11. Yep. Hand off to. I think that was. No, that's, that's Matt Garrison. Garrison just pushing the pile. And there's a late flag in there at the very end. That might keep us from being able to score. Do we call timeout and punch it in or not? <laughs> Might as well. Boy, he's really close. The officials are talking. The clock is running. We have 15 seconds left. Gonna need to call a timeout. <laughs> now the official just gonna pick up the flag. Five seconds to go. Jacob's gonna take the ball. Turned into a soccer or a rugby scrum, and Jacob's able to push it in at the buzzer. No, oh, you got to feel good about yeah. getting yeah. a score on the last play. Well, can't, <laughs> say, can't say too many teams can probably say that's the last play they run. Yeah, that's right. And that's going to be the game. They're not going to even do the PAT. So your final score is going to be forty to thirteen. 
The Steamers are going to make it to the playoffs next year, and the Panthers are going to get ready for winter sports. Colton had a lot to play for, and he came out and just went after it. Yeah, you know, it, it, we kind of preached that to them. You know, this is a playoff game for them, and, and you could tell. I mean, that was the intensity they brought was this is we're playing for week 10. You know, we, we, you know we've got something to play for. And, um, you know, we, we, we kind of matched it a little bit early, and then, um, boy, they just they, they kind of took it to us a little bit in that second quarter and, and kind of ground us out, really. I mean, they just kind of overpowered us. Um, they, they ran really hard, and, um, you know, I, I – a number of times I heard the comment from our coach on the sideline, they just, they come downhill fast. And, you know, they played they played fast on defense. And, um, you know, it was a little bit of game plan, but I, I think they just they just came out and were, were fired up and ready to go. And we just couldn't, we just didn't quite match that intensity all night. Well, I told the seniors after the game, um, you know, they, they don't understand it yet, um, but they, they brought so much to our program that we can build on. Um, they bought into what we asked of them on day one. Um, you know, new offense, new defense, um, but more than that, just the effort that they gave from day one through, you know, today, they just, um, it was it was something that they don't, I don't think they understand yet how important that's going to be to our program um, because the expectation now is you've got to go hard every day. And, and they set that tone from the beginning, and, and I couldn't be more proud and more happy for those guys for what they've given to us. And, you know, it's just going to take uh, it's going to take work on, on our part, um, on our part as coaches, on, their, on, on the kids' parts um, in the off season. You know, getting in the weight room, uh, getting together when we can. Um, you know, we're not going to be able to just show up in August and, and, and get everything ready to go and, and build. We'll, we'll build a little bit, but we won't be as ready as we could be if we just do that. And so that's kind of the message, as it usually is at this time of year. Just you know, it, it, you can't wait to play football again until August. It's got to be you know, go play your other sports. You know, be passionate about those in the winter and the spring. Uh, and just like with those sports, you know, find some time to get in the weight room, find some time to think about football off and on. And, you know, once summer rolls around, let's get back at it and go hard again. That last few seconds, you fight, we finally got the ref to put the ball down. And, and, yeah. And, uh, and Jacob was able to get it. How big was that? I mean, just, you know, to well, end your career with. It was supposed to be a handoff to me. And then he just went for a QB sneak. They spun around and he got stopped. And then we all just, we pushed him like three yards. And it, it was, I was, that was crazy that we got that last touchdown. Yeah. Um, talk about the guys a minute. I mean, you know, again, the, the season didn't go the way you wanted, but the one thing coach always said every game, he says, you guys always gave effort. I mean, he goes, it was never like we ever, you know, when you're getting kicked, it's not, man, every play. They're out there, they're, they're going, they're going, they're going. I mean, that's that's a heck of a, a tribute to you guys. Well, that's that's, the, that's what we're trying to build for our, the program, along with the new coach. Is that this, it doesn't matter as long as you're giving effort every play, right. at least trying as hard as you possibly can. And what the, the score doesn't matter at that point. Yeah, exactly. Panther Points has been brought to you by these sponsors: Cornerstone Insurance Agency, Rock River Lumber and Grain. Hammer Construction, Erie High School, Erie State Bank, Melton Seed and Service, Berkey's Farm Store, Erie Foods International, Wickert Insurance, and the Panther Athletic Boosters.